we have the relationship we're gonna have a client information first last name email term and condition in a client files so the client files table is linked via a foreign key so client id and id after we create a client now we have the ability to upload up to five files and each file can be up to 10 megabytes so very simple files if i select one two i have two files I should say two files selected now i and now i have the files that are uploaded if I click, I can see that file. And if I click there, I can see the other file. Very simple. First, we have to set up the media URL. So media. So now we are going to check out the model file. Now we have a client information, which is all of these. And we have the client files. The client files has two fields, client and file. Now you can see nothing special here, but here is what is interesting. The first thing is the file size validator which file size basically has a limit 10 megabytes and if it's multiple files it's going to check for each file and if they are over the limit it's going to do this and if it's a single file it's going to also run the check i can simplify this statement but that's not the point here uh, the second part is we set up a directory path for the upload and what is interesting here is the instance of that model that's getting saved, we grab the uh, the client ID and we basically append the file name at the end. That is it for the model. Now let's look at the form. And the form is also very uh, simple. So client info form includes these fields. So very simple standard Django stuff. Client files, we're going to blacklist some extensions and we're going to add basically files that are not supposed to be uploaded ever. And that we have a custom field that we created called multiple file field. It's a ins inspired from the Django documentation. We make a reference to the multiple file input that allows, uh, it's going to basically go in the form and say just set set it true and in the clean function so after the data is submitted it's going to do some operation and uh, the first thing it if it's multiple files it's going to validate and set a limit on how many files there are and for each file it's going to see if that file stays under the file limit now let's go into the view and the views all we have to do here in the views is upload files is the one that we are mostly interested in and all it does is if there's a post request after the form has been loaded it gets it grabs the uh the post data in the files assigns uh that object to the model that object that is passed to the client file model and saves it into the database and redirects to client dashboard and that's pretty much it that's how you uh, set up a multiple file upload with limits with django using the normal uh, template the dashboard is very simple it pass in the client we get that object so all it does here is just lays it down in the uh, html Likewise, for create client, it's the form that it passes that form object. 